Hello. I have this uh, JTV Variax 69 model, and everything works great on it except for the D string. Uh, when I use magnetics, it's fine. When I use the piezo, it works, but it's dull sounding. And everybody said to check the ground. I popped it out. Nothing. There's no nothing dirty. Cleaned it out. A little tuner cleaner in there. That didn't help it. So now uh, I'm going to hopefully replace that. And I was hoping somebody had a video on how to do this. I didn't find any, so I'm going to make one myself and see if this even works. Now I just got this in, which is the replacement. Little tiny sucker with only about a one inch real fine wire on it. And uh, I'm going to try to replace that Pezio with this guy. Now I have taken off the strings, as you can see. Um, took off the tremolo arm. On the back side, I unscrewed everything. Took off the back cover plate, took off the springs, and basically this is gonna fall out now. The bridge and all the electronics are just gonna fall out through the top there. So it should come right out out of there. It doesn't have a very big wire, so don't yank on it too much. There we go. Now we can see that all those fine wires right there, the E string, A, D, G, B, and little E string right there. So the D string is a bad one, which is this one right there. It come, goes right in there, and you can see it's got a some silicone on there that I'll have to get off of there. Okay, I took those two screws out, one there and one there, so that this board is now out of there. Didn't really have to, but it'll give me a little bit more play because those wires are very short in there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do a little cut on that on that silicone I'm gonna cut right there and right there to isolate this D so I'll pull that silicone off so I can get in there and solder on that right there okay now you can see I've made that so it's visible I like to use a regular old set of wire cutters I just cut a little snip there a little snip there pull that off of there now I'll be able to unsolder the old piezo Okay, I just, as you can see, I just disconnected piezo here. Just barely touched the, the gun to it and popped it right out of there. Okay, now I've taken out this little guy. And now the only ground for these is the chassis or the, the, the body of this actually touching in there. So you have to make sure that that's really clean in there clean it out real good maybe some alcohol maybe even a uh, contact cleaner but scrape it out whatever just make sure that's really clean in there for the ground for the next one now I'm going to stick the new one in which is that one there stick the wire through and get to soldering Very good okay now I'm gonna this piezo here, there's the wire coming through. I'm going to solder it onto that little old spot right there. I put a little, a little bit of a solder on the tip there and a little bit of this rosin on the tip of the wire so that I, put, I can put a little bit on there so it'll be ready to go. Okay, so that should be ready to go now. Okay, I'm going to try and get this thing soldered now. Um, this ancient old craftsman has a, a high and a low power, and if I had it on high power, it might fry this little dude. So I'm gonna go with low power, and I put a, I put a little bit of solder on the end of the wire. Hopefully it'll help it to go quick. And I'm not very good at soldering, but I'm gonna give it a go here. See if I can do it without destroying the little bosted. Well, looks like it took. Let's have a look-see here. Looks good. 
We'll put that baby back in there nice. Okay, I'm gonna put it in now and see if it works. I put the bridge back in. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Put the springs back on to hold it in. I'm just gonna put the old strings on until I'm not sure it works, and then I'll put some new strings on it. Because all I care about is that, that D string works properly. Okay, now I have it three strings back on anyways. The moment of truth, I'm gonna see if it works. So, right now it's just the magnetics. The balance seems okay with the different strings now with magnetics. So now, moment of truth. All right, it works. Success. Now you have it. It's all done. Put new strings on it. Magnetic, sir. Pretty even. And now, the piezos. Pretty balanced. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if my favorite one, the banjo, works good. in business <clears throat> I was getting ready to ship this back so for uh, about $18 including shipping I was able to buy just that one piezo and uh, now that I know what I'm doing it would probably only take me about 15 20 minutes maybe a half hour to do it, it took me about an hour because I didn't know what I was doing but now you know just got to close her back up and go now I did not put Silicone on that one. I didn't have any silicone glue. Next time I change strings, I'll probably grab some silicone and put a bead of silicone where I cut that off. Mm -hmm. 